YouTube, Facebook, it's your boy, King HB. Three. AKA Mr. One Time in the building. Alright, so coming to y'all with another video. This is gonna probably be my last video in a while. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of construction on my hair, so to speak, so I'm gonna be going in alert mode. Uh, as you can see, I have a guest here, apparently. This is my baby sister, Sanaya. Say hey, Sanaya. Hi. You know, so, ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? She here with me today. But, I'm going to be doing a review, and I'm also going to be showing y'all some knickknacks I picked up here this um, this week. So, first knickknack we got uh, that I picked up, 8119. Diane, yes, I got another one, OG. I already got one. But I decided to get another one because, I mean, let's face it, they they becoming extinct. So went ahead and caught me another eight one one nine OG Diane. You can see I still have my label on this right. You don't see that big labeling that they changing up on. So that back over there, fucker. Gonna put used to her since she's here with me. All right, the next one we got. Give me the. Uh, Give me that one right there next to it. You hold it and show it. <laughs> the next one we got here is the Diane 81. That's what I'm going to 8159. It's a reinforced 100% board Brussels. It's pretty hard. Show it, show it to the camera a little bit. Like, kind of turn it. There you go. Turn it around to it. Yeah, like that. Yeah. But yeah, this is the um, 8159. Reinforced board bristles. It's more of a hard brush. I'm not going to use this brush until like I'm deep in. The reason why I got this because I'm going for a record 15 weeks woofing. I'm not getting a haircut for 15 weeks right now. Today is week 7. I would show y'all what I'm working with. But like I said, it's in construction. And y'all ain't going to see anything until I get a cut. So. <sighs> but. Uh, yeah, this is the 8159. I'm going to be using this one while I'm getting up into those later weeks to, you know, for manageability reasons. So, yeah, got that. Here you go. Give me the one next to it. That one. Next knickknack I got. This one was like a crazy, funny knickknack I got. This is a wave enforcer. Wave enforcer, double sided brush, number 510. It has medium bristles on this side and soft bristles on the other side. Here in my city, we don't have wave enforcers. Like, you got to order them. You either got to order them or you got to get them from somebody out of state. And apparently, I was in the CVS. And I was in there getting something. And as I'm walking by, boom, I see a wave enforcer just sitting there plain as day. I stepped back, I grabbed it, I didn't care how much it was. It wasn't nothing but like three or four dollars. But I came back, seen it, had to grab it, man. It's wave enforcer. And you know, I hear a lot of people on the you know wave scene talk about the wave enforcer, so I definitely had to get this. Um the the bristles are a little bit smaller than what I'm used to, but I do like how it, it contours to my hair. It feels real good on my hair. So definitely had to cop this brush, like it, love it. Waving Force 510. Next step. Last one. <laughs> Alright. Next up we got it's another that Actually, this is my first Annie brush. I've never had an Annie brush. Uh, this is Annie number 2090. It's a reinforced board bristle brush. Um, as you can see, it's pretty thin. I got this brush definitely for my crown. Like I said, the record 15 weeks I'm going for, as far as like the wolf not getting a haircut, I'm going to need something to really, really get my hair moving, like to actually move my hair. So this right here is going to be the brush, one of the brushes I'm going to be using when I get in those later, later weeks, like up in like 11, 12, I'm going to be, you know, using this one to work on that crown area and the swirl because I know this will move it. You know, it's a hard brush. Um... <clears throat> So I got two hard brushes now. I know, you know, in past videos and in past, you know, things I've said, you know, I'd never get a hard brush because, you know, it hurts the scab of my hair. But I definitely, definitely wanted to get this brush. So, 
and I think it's gonna work wonders. I've already used it. it you know, it did you know maneuver my hair pretty good. Let me get that thing right here. <clears throat> and um, another thing I got is the shampoo brush thingy. I've seen people use it, and I've seen it before, and I've always wanted it. I actually just picked it up. It wasn't number like two dollars. Um, I like this little thing. It works pretty good. It helps, you know. It's got good. I, I I feel like I got a lot of control with it. I just put it on my hand and I just brush my hair. You know, I basically just do like this. So yeah, definitely definitely love this thing, man. This is ridiculous. I haven't used it in the shower yet because I just got it. But oh, so you you got to fix your hair. So you got to look cute. You got to fix up your hair. <laughs> what you saying? Anyway, uh, but yeah, man, definitely like this. We'll be using it when I when I do my next shower, uh, when I do my next um, wash to my hair. We'll we'll use this, but I do like it. I, I use it now even without being in the shower. So yeah, give me that product over there. And the final final uh, knickknack that I've got. What what you gonna need after them six weeks when your hair will feel? You definitely, definitely, definitely gonna need boom whooping pomade. But I gotta stay all natural. It was either it was gonna be a choice between the seasick pomade or the um co labels whooping pomade. Definitely went with co label first. I'm gonna try this out first, see how it uh, works on my hair, see how nice it is on my hair. But definitely had to get this. So, all right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this. That was all my knickknacks that I got. Now it's time to do the review. All right, so all of last week, I used a product called S7. A lot of people been asking me, what the hell is S7? What is S7? What's this? What's that? What's S7? S7 ain't nothing but a product made by one of my homies. His name, um, oh, what's his name? Mario Chavez. Mario, Mario Chavez. It's a homemade product that he made. Uh, it's pretty good. This is what it looks like. This is the jar that I got. This is my review on it. Uh, it's from all natural products, all natural oils, essential oils, things like that. I know shea butter, lavender, grapefruit, coconut oil, olive oil. Just to name a few things that's in the product. All those things you just heard are great for your hair. You know, um, what, I like, what I like about it is it has a great smell to it. Has a matter of fact, let's see. What'd you taste? Smell good. Smell good? Mm -hmm. Smell good. Smell <laughs> good. Yeah, she said it smell good. Um He has two base forms. He has a clean base and a solid base. I was uh given the solid base. Both of them still have the same ingredients in it. They both still do the same thing, so that's pretty much it on that. Um, great shine. Um, it makes your hair extremely soft. And I know that's because of that shea butter, definitely. Um, it's good for manageability reasons. If you're trying to like maneuver your hair and do things with your hair, change up patterns, things like that. This product right here is the next big thing to me, I believe. That's going to be as far as like a homemade product or somebody that's trying to, you know, bring something out or bring something to the wave game. So he stepped his game up with this. He's doing something pretty great. So I recommend this to anybody that's trying to be in the wave game and do this and do that or looking for a great product for their hair. You know, it's kind of an all purpose type of thing. If you know me by now, you know that I like to do the combo sets. You know, I always have like a product with another product that I put both in my hair at the same time or right after each other. This product I actually last week I just used all of it by itself. I didn't I didn't put nothing else in my hair but this. You know, and that was because it had the oil with the shea butter already in the contents of the ingredients. So that's common sense. So I mean that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna like I said, I'm not gonna be making any videos for a while, so I'm gonna be kind of on the ghost scene, you know, lurk mode, you know, and you ain't gonna see me for a little bit. I'm gonna come with some new heat though, I'm gonna come with some new new stuff. And until then, y'all boys stay and you know, boys and women and boys and girls, whatever, y'all y'all stay waving. 
you know, and I'm pretty much out. That's pretty much it. See y'all soon. It's your boy, King HB. Three. Out.